Hello everyone, this is Max, and this is the next series of videos um, for the LIMP server that we've built and created. Um, so let's begin. So for those of you who have uh, just joined us and haven't looked at the other series, or the other videos, this is a series uh, regarding how to build the LIMP uh, server LIMP that's L E M P that's an acronym for uh, L is for Linux E is for engine X M is for uh, Maria DB or my sequel and then P of course is for PHP so we've already went over how to install and configure our website Okay, and we've already went over um, uh, other things with installing our, our, our LIMP server and configuring it so that the, the LIMP server can, can um, communicate with our web server and then um, communicating with our database, which for us we're using MariaDB, and then of course uh, installing PHP so that it can communicate with the web server and help serve our pages and work from our pages from the background. So in this section of the video series what we're going to be going over is we're going to go ahead and install our um, WordPress site online. And I'm going to go ahead and go over that with you right now. So when we uh, did it last time, we had a website, and I'm just going to, what you want to do is open up your browser and put your website address in here, right? So I just want to go over it real quick. I had to change the name one, one more time because I went ahead and put it on my live server for this uh, demonstration, okay? And so it was just my website. Dot com, but then I went ahead and put it on my live server, and so this is a subdomain which is my website dot m sixty nine y dot com, right? And then to go ahead and incre and create it on our um, on online, you would also add this to the website, your website. So it would be your website dot com or dot net or whatever it is. And then you do a forward slash, and then if it's um, if it's a WordPress website, you would type in wp space or wp dash admin, and then press enter on your keyboard. <laughs> okay, and this is the beginning of the install page if you're installing WordPress for the first time, and so obviously. You would go ahead and choose your area. For me, it's going to be English. And then you click on continue. Okay, and then you have uh, some stuff to uh, fill out. Uh, the site title can be whatever you want it to be. And so I'm just saying uh, my WordPress site. But you can put into that whatever you want to. And then for this, for username, I usually uh, name it the same username as, as, as I did for the database that I created for this website. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And that's, this is the name of our um, username. Oh, actually, actually, no, that's our database name. I apologize. That is a mistake. This is the username of our database that has access to it. It's just P. Diddy. And then you put in your password. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. Give me one moment. I'm copying this from some notes that I got. That's it. And then let's see, we go down here 
and you can put in your email and me I'm just gonna put in a fake email none e o at yahoo.com all right and then you can choose whether or not you want to discourage people from using or, or discourage uh, search engines from looking into your or indexing your website normally if you want this to be a public website where everybody can easily search it I will go ahead and include that but since this is just a demo website we don't need that and then once you filled all this out, including your, your password, um, you just go ahead and click on install WordPress. So we're just going to left click on that. Okay. And as you can see, here's our username that we just put in there. And then we just need to click login and put in our password and username. So give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and put in there my username. And then I'm going to put in my password. And then you can either choose remember me or not. And then just click login. And there you have it. Here is your WordPress website. Right? And so that's basically it. And then, so you can structure this any way you want to see it. If you don't want to see this welcome uh, page, you can go ahead and click the uh, dismiss, right? And then if you come over to the very far left, you got home, and then you got your updates. This is for updating any of your plugins or your themes. And you, you to go ahead and update it, you can just click on select and update your plugins right post you can choose post and then all post or add a new post this is where you want to come in and uh, put in whatever uh, post that you're doing say like for um, a vlog or or for like you know any um, blogs that you want to put in you would put that in here okay and as, as I said, you got add new posts, you got categories, tags, and stuff like that. Media, you got the media library, and I just click on media itself and it goes to it. This is where you would upload your pictures, okay? And then right here, these are your static pages. You can either click right here, left click on pages, or you can click on, left click on all pages or add new right this right here is where you will put your static page right then you got comments you got appearance this is where your themes are right then you have your plugins this is where your plugins are users tools settings and stuff like that but this is this is your WordPress website and uh, if you want to see what it looks like, you just come up here to the top on the left hand side and it'll say my word or yeah, my website, my WordPress website. And what I normally do, I open it up in a new window or in another a new tab. And here you go. This is an example of your website. All right. And then as you can see it says you know your website but this your website uh, address will be up in here all right and then this is your home page right here this is what people will see when they come to your website and of course you're gonna you're gonna improve this and put in your own your your own uh, stuff but other than that you have installed your WordPress website and so that's it thank you very much we'll do one more limp server video and that will be in how to back up and restore your limp server once you've configured everything all right so thank you very much
I appreciate you guys looking at my video series. If you have any further questions or concerns or inquiries, or if you want to comment on this video, uh, please comment below in the comment section. Thank you very much. Hope you guys liked it. Um, please share, subscribe, and all that good garbage. And uh, everyone have a good night wherever you are. Thank you and bye-bye.